Hello, this is Diecast Looney, bringing you another short review. And today we've got a couple from uh, Johnny Lightning, a couple of 1 in 64 scale uh, street freaks. We've got a 51 Hudson Hornet and a 72 Chevy Vega wagon. Um, unfortunately, when they turned up in the post this morning, there was a bit of uh, damage to the Hornet's box. Uh, the car's fine, but uh, anyway, so that's why it's out of its box already. Um, and the Vega's fine, luckily. But uh, anyway, let's take a closer look. And this is the 51 Hudson Hornet. Um, I think it's, yeah, Street Freaks 2018 release 4 version B. Um, black with flames. So... I just thought it was different. It's been out a while now, um, but I would have preferred a standard Hudson Hornet in its normal livery, but this was the only one I could see available, so I thought it was different. But nonetheless, even though it's, you know, done with the flame pattern, it's still nicely detailed. I mean, it's got all the rubber tyres, metal bottom and all that good stuff. It's got the plate detail on there. Uh, but yeah, it's done a nice job. Uh, a little bit of background on these cars, or the original cars. Um, the first generation Hornet, Hudson Hornet, I think they were produced in 51, and uh, went on to 1954. Um, because the company merged, I think uh, uh, Hudson merged with Nash to form American Motors Corporation, or AMC for short. They did continue um, Hudson Hornet right up to 1957, I think, but uh, it looked quite a lot different. Um, but these original ones, like I said, the original cars are lovely. Let's see if we can get the bonnet open. And um, yeah, they got they got the twin H power engine looking right. You can see the twin twin air uh, twin air filters on the twin carb there because they originally I think these were. A, uh, flat six, um, but yeah, it's a nice little car. Not a lot more you can say about it. Probably already been reviewed many times before, but anyway, so that's the first one. We got a little card came with it as well. Little street freaks have the little cards. Fifty one Hudson Hornet. Black with flames. So these are cool little things to collect. It just says the other cars in the range and says when it was out and all that, all that good stuff. But anyway, let's take a look at the. So this is the uh, demolition derby one, or from the de you know, it's a demolition derby car, I should I say? One of three thousand. A few facts on it, and it's in a. Gold Strike Metallic, Cranberry Red. And this one, as far as I'm aware of, this is a 2019 release. The other cars in the range. Details about it. Um, yeah, this one's a release one, version B. But like I said, I don't know a lot about the Vegas. I just thought it looked cool. I thought the wagon looked different. Um, I know Johnny Lightning do a standard version. I think it's from the one when you get the little tin with it. You get a little tin when you buy the car. It comes like a little weird collector's tin. And they look quite cool, the standard version. But I thought this was different. As I said, let's have a look. I don't know a massive amount about... That's a bit difficult one, isn't it? Hang on. Can I get it? So I don't know a massive amount about these cars. I know that when they came out, they weren't, they were, they were full of flaws and issues. Um, and there it is. And they've done a pretty good job on it. I mean, remember, this is supposed to be a demolition derby car, so. Camera to pick up 
This engine's reasonably detailed. And the paintwork's quite nice. All the glass obviously removed because obviously it's a demolition derby car. Um, but like I said, I can't tell you a massive amount about these. I know they had all different engine ranges. I know they, I think they had as little as a four cylinder engine at one point. And I know they were full of flaws, but it's like anything now, even the real cars are probably becoming collectible. But I'm not keen on the original looking Vega, but I think the wagon does look quite cool. But uh, anyway, it's another two. So you have a growing one in sixty four collection. And uh, oh yeah, I've got a little card that comes with it as well. Just the same thing. Chevy Vega or seventy two Chevy Vega wagon number five. And again, just says the information on the back of the other cars. But anyway, thanks for watching. And um, I'll be showing a next next video. I'm going to be showing my um, 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner in 118 scale. So uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.